film fanatics. Crazy! It's crazy. The nuts about that. Now, the Houston Film Fanatics. Hey, this is Marie and Ray with the Houston Film Fanatics. And out today is the brand new anticipated film, Suicide Squad. Now, we got a chance to check this out earlier this week, and I do have some thoughts. Good thoughts or bad thoughts? Both. All right, well, let's hear some of the good thoughts. All right, well, it did have a lot of humor in it. I love, I laughed a few times. Actually, I laughed several times. Yeah, no, it had some really funny parts. I think a lot of that got added in after Deadpool came out because they realized they could get away with a little bit edgier humor. Yeah, that I'll have I'll give it to that. But the bad stuff. Oh my god. All right. Now, I think they made this movie they made it a big deal. They kept promoting it throughout the whole year and it was it was getting too much hype, but now that it's out, it's like, well, it's not it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. Okay, so I agree with that. I, I had to give this movie an easy B because it's not the greatest movie out there, but it is the best DC movie that has come out to date. I no, think. true, true. I, I agree with that. It definitely redeemed itself from the uh, Batman versus Superman. Oh, my God. That was a terrible movie. Very terrible. Anyways. Well, okay. Um, I did really like Margot Robbie's character in there. I thought she did a good job. I'm known to be quite vexing. I'm just forewarning you. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> you can say okay. It's all right to disagree. No, no, no. She's not a bad... Like, she didn't do bad, but to me, I thought it was just... Eh, was like, she too over the top for you? Or? A little bit. Just a little bit over the top. Well, I think that they were basing her character on the video game series, because that Harley Quinn is really close to what we got to see on screen. And another another reason why it was, like, okay is they hardly showed Jared Leto. That is the biggest disappointment of this whole film. Spoiler alert! Oh my gosh. Well, okay, so I was reading earlier today, apparently Jared Leto says that a lot of his scenes were actually cut from the movie. Why? And so maybe it's going to be like Batman vs. Superman, where they, they put out the original movie, and then they came out with the ultimate edition with like 30 more additional minutes. So maybe when the Blu-ray comes out of this film, we'll get to see the Joker edition of the movie. <laughs> That doesn't make sense, though, because if they want, you know, money to be, you know, spent on this, they should have added him more. Well, I agree. And they spent so much time in the commercials promoting that, you know, he was going to play a bigger part in this movie that he did. Okay. Now, his Joker, though. Okay. I don't like to compare the Joker from Heath Ledger's Joker, but uh, if I had to choose, I would choose Heath Ledger's Joker. That's because you love Heath Ledger's Joker. No, no. It's not nothing to do with it. They both played a great Joker, but... Jared Leto's Joker reminded me of the 19, what, 1990 Jack Nicholson's Joker in Batman. That Which was a good Joker. It was like the younger version, and then when he gets older, he's Jack Nicholson's Joker. Yeah. So, I mean, but it wasn't bad, but with Heath Ledger's Joker, I could, I could not see Heath Ledger. I could definitely see the Joker, and not once of Heath Ledger in it. Jared Leto's Joker, yes, I could see a little bit of him in it. Well, I feel like they really modernized the Joker with this movie and he's got more of like a, a street thug feel to him uh he is absolutely way crazier i think than we've ever seen him before but like a, it's a different kind of crazy than he ledger's crazy yeah, yeah he's definitely crazy in this one you guys should definitely check this out yeah, I was thinking about it, and you've got Heath Ledger's Joker, who's kind of like a functional Joker. Like, you know how they say the people that, that can drink a whole lot and they're so functional you can't tell that they're drunk? <laughs> That's what Heath Ledger's Joker is, whereas, like, Jared Leto's Joker, you can he's trying to be sober, but you know he's drunk. Does that make sense? No, not okay, at all. Great. Are you sure you're not drunk? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> Who could tell? <laughs> Suicide Squad! <laughs> I don't know. Um, all in all, you know, there were certain characters also that I didn't... Agree, like they shouldn't be playing it. One of them would be Will Smith. Don't, don't make. Don't. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that assessment. Okay, look, he basically was reprising his role from Men in Black because it was the same attitude, the same mm-hmm. everything, the same jokes. Yes, We're, we've already seen this Will Smith. It's nothing new there. I feel they should have definitely chose another um, dead shot in this. Yeah, I agree with that. So that's it, huh? We're the Patsies. Well, what did you think about the rest of the cast? I thought Viola Davis did a great job playing kind of the evil behind the scenes henchman for this whole thing. I'm not going to lie, she was pretty good, but it was kind of like I was watching How to Get Away with Murders, her character. It's taken some work, but I finally have them. The worst of the worst. Well, she took notes from that, and then she showed up on set. <laughs> I, I love her. She's such a great actress. Um, Jay Hernandez, who plays Diablo, was so good. Not yeah. to mention very, very hot. Literally. Oh, Literally. I see what you did there. Ba-dum-bum. <laughs> 
<laughs> I swear. Okay, so Cara Delevingne plays Enchantress. She's kind of a much bigger role in the film than what the previews lead on. And weren't you saying that you were a little bit disappointed by... I was disappointed in... I, okay, first off, I feel like if I was her, I would be kind of frustrated that they aren't showing how big my role is in the movie. And I am I'm frustrated watching the movie that I thought that the CGI that they did with her on some of the stuff towards the very end of the movie just seemed a little cheesy. It did. It didn't look right. I, I thought I was the only one who thought that, no, too. Okay. No, I totally agree. Okay. We have um, a lot of agreements. We do, for the first time I ever. I know. We never agree on anything. No, never. There are some good cameos in the film. Uh, we get to see a little snippet of The Flash from Justice League. There's a little bit of Batman in there with Ben Affleck. So yeah, overall, I still think people should go see this movie and make up their own minds. Not pay attention to Rotten Tomatoes. Not pay attention to the haters on the internet. Go see the movie. Let's see for yourself and let us know what you think. We have our full review up at our blog page at kprcradio.com, and we would love to hear your comments about what you thought of Suicide Squad. <laughs> Houston Film Fanatics, thank you. Good night. Whammo kablamo. Y'all jokers must be crazy. I'm not just one of y'all men at all.